Hi, I'm Braden Hancock, one of the co-founders of Snorkel AI and the head of technology and research. And I'm gonna talk about programmatic labeling a bit here today. Programmatic labeling is a labeling approach that is very much intended to address the, the large bottleneck in AI right now, which is getting enough label training data for a task that you care about. And uh, the traditional approach manual labeling uh, here you know, is, is very familiar. You, you label one example at a time uh, in a process that's not particularly scalable. And with programmatic labeling, on the other hand, you, um, as a user, provide labeling functions instead of individual labels. And these labeling functions uh, essentially uh, encode your, your reason for why you would label something a certain way. And these functions can then be applied to large amounts of unlabeled data that you have access to. And their outputs aggregated intelligently to create effectively one training label per data point in a very large training set. So you end up with um, a process that's much more scalable than manual labeling, but that's still very much rooted in uh, domain knowledge since that's the source of your labeling functions to begin with. So let's talk about what labeling functions actually are and uh, how diverse they can be. So a labeling function uh, truly is just an arbitrary function that takes in a data point and proposes a label or abstains. And nothing is assumed about the, the logic inside. So this can really subsume quite a few different approaches or resources that have relevance to your problem. These labeling functions can vary anywhere from very simple, uh, such as looking for a particular keyword or phrase in, in a text example, uh, to uh, things that are much more complex, something like an existing third-party model or uh, a database lookup or embedding-based things um, really, you know, anything that has potentially some uh, discriminative signal for, for um, separating classes, you, you should be able to use as a labeling function. And in practice, these don't need to be, uh, you know, totally comprehensive. They don't have to cover your entire data set, certainly not individually, but even as a set, um, you know, these can often you're fine with just a few labeling functions per class. Um, and that's enough to create a training set that has the information your model needs to uh, learn to do a decent job on, on each class that you've specified. So programmatic labeling at the end of the day is a disruptive alternative to manual labeling, right? Uh, labeling data points one by one uh, by hand. And uh, we've already mentioned how, uh, you know, it's pretty clear that there's some, some scalability differences here that you can label much more data, label it much faster, and that uh, naturally leads to some, some cost savings most of the time. But there are some other sort of zero to one benefits that are worth noting as well. So one big one is the ability to iterate uh, much more easily and much faster um, as you're developing your model. So you know, typically you, you train a model and uh, I don't think I've ever seen a model that on first go was, was high enough quality or did exactly what you intended. So there's always an iteration step. And if your, your process for creating training labels requires um, some large amount of, of hand labeling, that's very difficult to do, uh, you know, certainly in one sitting, but even often, you know, within uh, days, it can, it can take a long time to, to, to go back and forth in your process. And so uh, with programmatic labeling, now, you know, regenerating a training set is as quick as uh, tweaking some labeling functions and then pushing that re-execute button to generate a new training set and then train your model. So cycles are now much tighter and you can effectively, you know, respond to what your model's doing right now um, and have that inform where you spend your attention next. And then after you've created a model that is high quality, uh, you also now have a much easier time adapting it to, to changing needs. So that could be a shift in the distribution of your data over time. It could be that uh, the definitions you have for different classes shift, or it could even be adjusting your schema altogether. Maybe you had a four class problem and you realize a five class problem is actually a better fit. Um, adding that new class could mean if you're manually labeling that you need to go re-examine every individual data point to see if it actually is a member of that fifth class. Or uh, with programmatic labeling, you add a couple of labeling functions for the new class and again, push that re-execute button, which you know, tends to be uh, often orders of magnitude uh, faster, making it a lot easier for you to, um, over the life cycle of a model, keep it fresh and, and conveying what you need it to. And then lastly, uh, there's some benefits around the governance and transparency of, of your model training. And that is that now it's very clear uh, basically where uh, each training label that your model is trained on came from. And so when you go to inspect why it's doing what it's doing, or if you discover some bias uh, or other behavior that you'd like to correct or modify, uh, it's now uh, a very direct uh, map back to 
what is contributing to my data set having this uh, this property or this bias that my model is picking up on. And you now have a, a very high leverage way of correcting that again by modifying, adding, or deleting labeling functions on the order of uh, a couple adjustments rather than um, you know having to again touch touch every label again yourself or you know being in a situation where your labels came from uh, the the brains of individuals where you don't have the rationale you don't know what features they were relying on uh, whereas now um, labeling functions you have all of the source code in front of you and you can actually uh, inspect that directly So clearly there's a ton of value that programmatic labeling can provide as you go about building AI applications, making things more scalable, adaptable, governable, et cetera. But most products today in the AI space or, or labeling space are very much overfit to manual labeling workflows. And that's not the same uh, as what, what uh, is most beneficial to have access to when doing programmatic labeling. So taking uh, what we've learned over the past five years of applying programmatic labeling to a wide array of real world problems, We've built SnorkelFlow, a data-centric AI platform uh, that uh, is very much meant to enable and, uh, and simplify uh, these types of workflows and make it very accessible. And I'll mention uh, four areas where it does this. Um, one would be uh, the creation of labeling functions itself. Um, it's often helpful to have different views of your data and different templates that make it very easy to express uh, specific signals um, that you know, convey basically your, your labeling reasons. And we can provide a lot of that so that you don't need to necessarily always uh, go back to, uh, to writing Python code directly to express that. So that's, of course, still an option. You then have these labeling functions that need to be applied. And uh, there, it's a nice place to have some infrastructure to uh, apply these in a sort of massive parallelized way across all of your data. You then, um, as you go to aggregate these labels, we've provided a bunch of different uh, label model algorithms that can be used to uh, automatically do this denoising process, basically resolving conflicts between your labeling functions where they exist to produce the highest quality label, for example. And then once you've trained a model, uh, there's analyses that you can perform that are only really available if you have access, not just to what your model is doing, but also what the training set is that that model was trained on. And you can correlate these two and basically be guided to which labeling functions should be uh, added or modified or deleted. So in this video, we've just scratched the surface of programmatic labeling and, and how it can be done and the benefits it provide. If you want to find out more, you can go to our website, Snorkel AI, and uh, read more details, see screenshots of the platform, and request a demo or just a conversation with one of our machine learning experts who would be happy to go over the specifics of your individual use case and how programmatic labeling can be applied to accelerate your AI efforts.